Reasonableness, a true story by Ms. Kern. So I wanted to buy a bike this summer because I really wanted to be able to ride around New York City. I also wanted to buy a Nintendo Switch because my sister's birthday was coming up. The bike I wanted cost $689, and the Nintendo Switch cost $299. So I needed to figure out, how much money do I need? At first, I just wanted to estimate the amount of money I needed to see if I was even close to having the correct amount for both of these items. So what I did was I took the cost of the bike, $689, and I said, hmm, that's about $700. That squiggly equal sign, that means about. Then I thought, hmm, the Nintendo Switch cost $299. So that's going to be about $300. So now I'm going to find a reasonable estimate. To do that, I've already rounded these two numbers, and then I'm going to add them together to get my reasonable estimate for how much both of these things cost. So 700 plus 300 would give me 1,000. So my answer, or the cost of these two items, is going to be about $1,000. Oof, that's a lot of money. So it took me a little while after I estimated the total cost, it took me a little while to save up some money to get even close to that. So once I got kind of close to my estimate of $1,000, I wanted to find out actually how much money both of these things cost together. So then I found the real answer. So I did 689 plus 299 equals my real answer. I used the partial sum strategy to help me solve this. So I did 600 plus 200 equals 800. 80 plus 90 equals 170. 9 plus 9 equals 18. Then I had to add all of those pieces together. So I added 800 plus 170 plus 18, and I got my answer of $988. That's how much the bike and the Nintendo Switch costed all together. And I know that that's pretty much the right answer because I found that my estimate, my reasonable estimate for this total was going to be about $1,000. And since my answer is really close to that, I know that this answer is probably right. Now, how does this help us in the classroom? Well, we don't always have a bike and we don't always have a Nintendo Switch, but we do have numbers. And so when we're solving problems, we can use reasonable estimates to help us check our answers. So if we were doing this in class, and like you will be doing in your lesson after this video, let's say we are solving 427 plus 135 equals something. Well, I'm going to think, hmm, 427, that's close to 400. 135, that rounds to 100. So 400 plus 100 equals 500. So I know that my reasonable estimate for my answer is going to be about 500. So my answers should be close to 500. So I'm going to start solving. 427 plus 135 equals something. Again, I'm going to use my partial sum strategy. 400s plus 100 equals 500s. Two tens plus three tens equals five tens. Seven ones plus five ones equals twelve ones. Then I'm going to add these numbers up. So five plus five plus twelve. Five plus five equals ten. Plus twelve more equals twenty-two. So my answer is twenty-two, right? Wait, but my reasonable answer, my reasonable estimate was five hundred. And 22 is not about 500. Mm -mm. They're very different numbers. So I need to go back and look. And oh, man, I made the same mistake. I wrote 4 instead of 400 and 1 instead of 100. 
And then in the tens, I wrote 2 instead of 20 and 3 instead of 30. So because I found a reasonable estimate for what my answer should be, I was able to recognize that, uh-oh, I made a mistake, and so I just need to go back and fix it. So let's fix it. Four hundred twenty seven plus one hundred thirty five equals something. Four hundred plus one hundred equals five hundred. Twenty plus thirty equals fifty. Seven plus five equals twelve. So now I'm going to add up those sums that I just found. Five hundred plus fifty plus twelve. So when I add those together, I get 562. Now that is much closer to my reasonable estimate of 500. So I know that this answer is probably correct because my answer was close to my reasonable estimate. So that makes my answer a reasonable answer.